Clements, The Kitchen Apprentice. I'm at Metro picking up some local peaches, which are only in season for a few weeks, so I love to take advantage while I can. Choose peaches that are very fragrant and blemish free with a smooth and fuzzy skin. They should give slightly when pressed. Peaches come in clingstone and freestone varieties. Clingstone are great for eating, but difficult for preparing. Choose freestone for easy slicing and pitting. Now that we've got our peaches, let's head back to the kitchen and get cooking. We're back in the shuttling kitchen and we've got our peaches. If you're not going to be using them right away, refrigerate them unwashed in a single layer in the crisper drawer and they'll keep for three to four days. I've got clingstone peaches and to prepare them, I'm just gonna use a sharp paring knife and cut along the pit crosswise. Then you can twist it open and remove the pit. If you've got freestone peaches, however, you're gonna cut along the pit stem down. In the Chatelaine kitchen, I've learned a really great trick for peeling peaches. Just mark a shallow X on the bottom stem of the peach, place in a pot of boiling water for about 30 seconds to a minute or until the skin starts to loosen, then transfer immediately to a bowl of ice water and allow them to cool. Once they're cool enough to handle, you can easily peel away the skin. This is a great way to prepare peaches for chutneys, sauces, and popsicles. I love making bruschetta in the summer and it's a great way to incorporate peaches. I'm just tossing together some thinly sliced peaches with basil, lemon juice, olive oil, and a little salt. I've grilled some bread and I'm just gonna place the bruschetta on top. For more peach recipes, head to Chatelaine.com.